Uh, in this video, we'll cover the Hearst method uh, menu commands. And the first command is to place uh, the displace moving averages, or DMAs. And you do that by clicking uh, first the decades button, uh, then a digits button to flush out the uh, moving average period. Uh, this is the period of the blue moving average, which is the longest. The green and red, which are the intermediate and short, are calculated automatically. Uh, click OK to place it on the chart. And we have a, a new feature. This light blue line is an auto regression of the blue uh, DMA. And it's an indication of trend for this cyclical period in this time frame. Let's zoom in on the chart so we can see a little better what, uh, what we're talking about. This solid blue line connects with the dotted blue line. And what we're doing is we're using the last three data points in the blue DMA to auto-regress the projection. And we do that for the blue and the green. Uh, DMA so that you don't have to guess where they'll intersect. It's done automatically. Uh, sometimes it's easier placing things with the uh, candlestick charts. And next we'll demonstrate the uh, blue projection. And to do that you want to click uh, first on uh, a low in this case. Right click and that tells us that we're clicking at 761.26, which is the low of this bar. And then we're going to move up to the intersection of the blue and the green moving averages. And that gives us a price projection of around uh, 926. And indeed, uh, Google has met uh, resistance at this price area. We can clear that DMA, go to a longer DMA, and see if we get uh, some different uh, information. And we can see that the intersection of the blue and the green is going to be significantly higher uh, in the future if indeed Google can break through uh, this resistance area. So just based on those two the 33 and the 66, we can see that Google has indeed met resistance and has the potential, at least, uh, to break out higher. The third method is the three-click time price. And for this, we want to click first on a current intersection. And in this case, we'll use the uh, green and the red. You want to move back in time to the previous intersection of those two DMAs and then click on the intervening high or low. And that gives you a price and time projection, uh, which in many cases is going to be very similar to what you'd get using the straight uh, blue or green uh, intersection. And you can clear uh, the DMA uh, leave your green and blue intersections or clear them uh, with all annotations. Okay, that's the basic use of the uh, Hearst uh, method menu commands. Next, we'll cover the Fibonacci price menu commands.